Christian! Chris! Chris! Christian! Avada Kedavra! Avada, Avada, Avada Kedavra! Hey guys! So today I turned Ian into what I tried to be with Baltimore. But uh, I think it turned out pretty good. Check him out. Super scary. Super scary. So anyways, if you guys want to see my attempt at Voldemort, then just keep watching. Just keep watching. All right, so I am starting with the bald cap. This is from Mayron. I got a bald cap kit. And I just follow the instructions on there. You need a clean, dry face, and then you also need to slick the hair back. Ian's hair is pretty short, so I just kind of used some water, and that was fine. And then I am tracing where the ears are so that I can make little slits in the ears. And you want to make sure you do this very carefully. The smaller that you make the cuts, the better. And then you want to cut around the edges any excess from the cap you definitely can trim that off and then you want to go in with the spirit gum and i am putting that on the cap and on the skin i'm waiting a couple seconds and then i am sticking it down you want to make sure the bald cap is pretty stuck down and you also want to make sure it's pretty flat so if you need to cut any extra pieces around the ear or anything like that, definitely shape it. I did glue around the ear as well. And then in the back, you want to leave a little bit of space for sweat. Here I am going to flatten Ian's eyebrows down. I'm using the Elmer's glue stick and a spoolie. And you do want to do that a couple times. So basically, I will go back and forth with the latex. On the cap, I do a couple layers, and then I'll do, while that's drying, I will do a couple layers on his eyebrows. And then the last layer of latex I did put on his eyebrows because I couldn't get them as flat and smooth as I wanted with the glue stick. And then I use a little fan to just kind of speed up the process. I got this one on Amazon, and I love it. And then I needed to flatten out Ian's nose, so we used some scotch tape and he just kind of kept it flat and I taped it up and he was a really good sport about it. And then I used some nose putty. This stuff was really difficult to work with. I don't know if I actually suggest using this, but eventually I got it to be okay. Basically, you want to warm it up in your hands and it's like putty and then you want to smooth it out. I think the smoothing was the hardest part. The molding wasn't the hard part it was like smoothing it out making it look real so that's why it's kind of all bumpy and stuff but i did my best and i also turned the bottom and the sides a little bit later and then when i'm done shaping it i did use some liquid latex i wanted to make sure that the edges were all smooth and then i also put some on top just to kind of help fill in some of those crevices and then I'm going in with the Wet n Wild paint pot in white and I'm gonna put that all over his face. I go in with a brush first in the larger areas and then I blend it out with a beauty blender. This is an old one, I saved it just for this purpose. And then you wanna set everything with a powder. The Mayron bald cap kit did come with a powder that I set everything with. And then I'm going in with the Creolin cream color circle in death. And I'm using that to make his color more gray. And then I'm going in with a larger brush and just kind of shading everything smaller, larger. I just want to get some shading. And then I'm using a gray color from the wizardry and witchcraft palette from Storybook Cosmetics, and I'm using that to contour him a little bit, bring a little depth in, and then I'm taking the black color, the taking Take Me Back to Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics, and I'm putting that under his eyes to give him depth, and I'm also going to use that to contour. I'm also using the gray shade from the Pretty Vulgar Nightingale palette to give him a little bit of veins and then I'm going in with the red color from the Creolin color circle to give it a little bit more You know dimension 
And then here I'm going in with the grays and the blacks and I am giving him more of a contour to his cheeks and then I also bring it down like the jowl area. And then everything that gets dark, I put the uh, cream color over, the gray cream color over, and it makes it kind of blend in a little bit better. And I also go up on the head and give him more dimension up there as well. I also used a little bit of the red color from the Take Me Back to Brazil under his eyes. And here I'm using the black in his nose. And I'm just kind of deepening everything up and then going back over with the gray cream color. And then Ian kind of did his thing and this look is done. So I hope you guys enjoyed and please subscribe. Christian! About a cadaver. How horrible is this? Yeah, get my skin off. Oh, get some black hair on there. Yeah, actually. <laughs> I'm telling you, my nose is very sad. Yeah. Hey guys. 